yetu ya leo leo tutajifunza aromatic organic compound of pharmaceutical importance we have a learning objective mwisho wa hii sessions nategemea kila mwanafunzi awe na uwezo wa to define aromatic compound and also to explain the kule structures to know the isomers of aromatic organic compound and your nomenclature of aromatic compound and also to know the chemical properties of aromatic organic compound so start with the definitions we have aromatic hydrocarbons before proceed let us see the hydrocarbons Hyd what is hydrocarbons we say hydrocarbons is a organic compound that contain carbon and hydrogens kwa compound yoyote ambayo inakuwa na ina contain carbon and hydrogens hiyo tunasema ni hydrocarbons lakini tunaposema aromatic hydrocarbons tunasema azos compound that have molecular structure based on the on that of benzene structure kwa ile structure yake ambayo inakuwa na base zaidi kwenye benzene tunasema that is called aromatic hydrocarbons kwa tunaonyesha pale ni structure ya benzene ambapo hii structure benzene kwanza lazima tuijue benzene benzene ni ile compound ambayo inakuwa na six number of carbon and also inakuwa na six number of hydrogens as napokuwa na six number of carbon na six number of hydrogens hiyo hiyo compound ndio tunaita benzene as tunaichukulia kama benzene to represent the all aromatic hydrocarbons kama tunavyoiona pale benzene inavyoonekana kuna sifa ile kusudi benzene iitwe benzene ina sifa zake cha kwanza lazima iwe na six number of carbon kama tunavyoona kwamba kila kona tunayoiona hapa kuna kwa na carbon na hydrogens tukihesabu pale ziko sita kwa kama kila kona kuna six carbon na kuna kila kona kuna carbon moja na hydrogen moja basi kuja kuja kusama pale kuna kwa na six number of carbon na and also we have six number of hydrogens lakini hiyo haitoshi tunakuja kwenye bond lazima kuwe na hizi bond mbili kuna kwa na single bond hapa afu kuna kwa na double bond hizi hapa sasa hizi bond zinapokuwa zinaonekana pale zinakuwa zinakana through alternations kwa tukitoka kama single bond ya hapa hapa najua single bond tunakuja double bond tunakuja single bond na kuwa double bond as itakapomit hizo criteria zote hiyo tunaita itakuwa ina sifa zote za kuitwa ni benzene structure so we have the kekule benzene structures kuna kuna scientist ambao tunajua kila kitu kinachotokea maana kuna vumbuzi ambao wamefanya sayansi zao wametoka toa theory zao wakazi develop theories mpaka wakaja kufikia mwafaka usika hasa mtu alie develop hii benzene na kuigundua tukua tunamuita ni kekule kekule unasema kwamba yeye alisuggest presence za alternating single and double bond yeye alisema kwamba ili kusudi benzene iwe benzene lazima iwe na hizi single and double bond tunasema hapa kwamba kuna single bond hasa hii single bond ina represent alkane na hii double bond ina represent alkene hiyo ndo theory ya kwanza. Vya vya akasema kekula ali suggest two form of benzene were in rapid equilibrium. Tunajua kwamba ili kusudi kitu kiwe kwenye equilibrium lazima product and reactant lazima zote ziwe zina balance. Maana sasa product ina uwezo wa kuform reactant na reactant vya vya ina uwezo wa kuform product. Hiyo ndo simple elaborations for equilibrium. Kwa tuangalie hizi aromatic organic compound and their isomers tunaposema hizi aromatic organic compound and their isomers tunapata terminology hapo tunasema isomers ni nini lazima tujue kwanza isomerism tunajua kwamba isomerisms the existence of compounds having the same molecular formulas but different in their structure hiyo ni kitendo cha kwamba compound zinakuwa zina the same molecular form but different structure hiyo tunasema hiyo ni isomerism lakini tunaposema isomers tunasema ni zile compound ambazo zinakuwa the same molecular formulas but different in their structures hapa tunaweza tukachukulia mfano mzuri kwamba labda tunashungu kwamba mtu A ni mzazi ambao huyu mtu A ni mzazi alizaa watoto ambao ni X Y Z asa hawa x y z ambao amewazaa hawa wote kila x anakuwa na sifa zake y ana sifa zake na 
na huyu zaidi ana sifa zake hawa tunashunga ma ni watu ana sifa tofauti tofauti aidha x anakuwa na uwezo labda wa somo fulani y ana uwezo wa somo fulani huyu zaidi labda hana uwezo labda wa somo lolote au ana uwezo wa somo fulani hasa hawa wote wanakuwa ni wana different in their characteristics but they are the same molecular formula wametoka kwa mtu mmoja lakini wakawa na tofauti to their existence hasa hapa kwa hii tukichukua kama alikane sasa kwamba tunachukulia kama hii hii nini hii benzini hasa hii benzini inakuwa na nomenclature yake tofauti tofauti kwa kuna kuwa na na activator and also we have deactivator tunaposema activator nasema kwamba this activator mark ina direct the incoming electrophile toward the ortho positions and also the activator ina mark ina direct the incoming electrophile to the meta positions hasa hapa tutaangalia hizi terminology ambazo tumezipata also meta and para isomers of dimethyl benzene ambazo tunaweza tukasema that is called xylems hizo ni nomenclature tuziona mbele kwamba unaponeme kwamba labda ina na kuaje tuangalie labda hii hapa structure kusudi tuweze kujua hizo ortho para meta zinakuaje tukiangalia hii xylems ambao ni dimethyl hii hapa dimethyl benzini kwa hapa tunaangalia hii, hii ni o xylems o ambayo inamaanisha ni ortho hasa hii ortho tunajua kwamba hapa tunashunga kwamba ndo nomenclature yetu kwamba hii ni ortho mara ni ile ni attachment group ambayo inapatikana kwenye kaboni namba mbili hiyo tunasema ni ortho positions lakini ikiwa hiyo methyl imejiattach kwenye kaboni namba tatu namba tatu hiyo tunasema ni meta positions lakini ikijiattach kwenye kaboni namba nne hiyo tunasema ni ni para positions tunaangalia kama hii hapa iko kwenye kaboni ya tatu kwa kaboni ya tatu maana yake hiyo ni meta positions lakini tukiangalia hii iko kwenye kaboni ya nne ambayo inakuwa ni para positions so let us see the nomenclature of aromatic organic compound hii ni namna gani tunaweza tukaname hizi aromatic compound for many derivatives we simply prefix the name of substrant group of the wet benzene kwa hapa maana yake kwamba tunakuwa tuna name zile substrant group substrant ni zile ni zile compound or, or molecules or atoms ambazo zinajiattach kwenye benzene structure ukiangalia hapa kuna kuna hii hapa bromine ambao bromine kwenye attachment tunaisema kama bromo ambao hii katika kunema yake nitaname kama bromo alafu nachukua kama parent chain ni ni benzene kwa hapa na nema yake ni bromo benzene na hapa hii hapa ni nitro hii maana inasema nitro benzene kwa tuna name kwa kwa design hiyo lakini ukiangalia kuna nyingine kama anso naweza kusema kwamba unaweza ka name vile kwa hiyo kuna kwa na benzene kuna kuwa na, na atoms ya oksijeni pale ambayo ina na, na kuna kuna methyl ambayo hiyo kama unaweza kusema that is called ether lakini hii hapa tunasema kuna unaweza ka name kama anilins hasa hizi anilins maana kwamba kuna kuna benzene hii hapa afu hii hapa na functional group ya amine ambayo kiunganishwa unaweza ka name that is called anilins lakini vile vile tunaangalia kuna toluenes kwenye toluene tunakuna kuna methyl group kama methyl imejiattach kwenye benzene structure tunaweza ka name kama toluenes let us see the, the chemical structure of aromatic organic compound tunapoangalia hizi chemical structure inakuwa aje sasa aromatic compound are cyclic kama tumeangalia kule maana inakuwa ni cyclic forms structure in which each atom each ring of atoms participate in a bond tumeangalia kule kuna bond ambao single bond tumeangalia kule na double bonds ambao single bond unaweza kusema sigma bond double bond unaweza kusema double bond resulting in delocalization electron density on both sides of the rings asa ile ile delocalization tunaangalia kule mbili na kuaje due to this connected network of bonds this they are planar like the boat structure of benzene tunasema ni kama resonance theories mbona ziangalia kule as tunaangalia kama hapa tunaangalia kama hii hapa ni benzene as ikianza kwenye sequence labda ya clockwise ikianza kwa delocalization ya hii hapa nafunja hii bond ya double bond na kuwa single bond na hii hapo kivunja bond na hii kivunja hii bond unakuja kupata kitu kinakamilika kama dual ambao hii ndio maana tunasema kwamba hii hapa na hii hapa zote hizi tunaweza kama 
hizo ni benzene extract lakini hiyo ndio inakuwa inaonyesha resonance ya hizi benzene ambayo tumekuwa tumeiangalia pale tuangalie hizi structure yake inakuwaaje sasa Tumesema kwamba hizi benzene extract inapokuepo pale lazima tutapata hizo hizo attachment zake ambao tunaona kuna ortho kuna meta na kuna para positions. Tunaangalia kwamba hiyo ortho inapatikana kwenye kaboni ya pili, meta nasema inapatikana kwenye kaboni ya tatu na para positions inapatikana kwenye kaboni ya nne. So tumesema if two group attached to the benzene ring the relative position must be indicated kwa inakuwa inakuwa indicated kama inavyoonekana hapo. Kwa tumeangalia kama hii tukiangalia ortho kama tulivyoangalia kule. Hii hapa maana tukiangalia hii ni attach group ambayo substituent ambayo alikuepo pande. Sasa ile incoming electrophile inayokuja kwenye carbon number 2 hapa hivi. Sasa hii carbon number 2 kama tulivyoeleza hii ndio inakuwa ni ortho positions. Angalia kama hii hapa kwenye carbon number mbili hii ni ortho position lakini tukasema kwenye carbon ya namba tatu inakuwa ni meta position kama hii hapa carbon namba moja, mbili, tatu. kwa hiyo kwenye tatu hapa inakuwa ni meta positions hivyo tukiangalia kwenye carbon ya kwanza tukihesabu kwamba namba mbili hapa tunasema ni ortho position namba tatu ni meta position namba nne ni para positions kwa hizi zinatusaidia kwenye chemical reaction mbalimbali unaangalia kama dawa mbalimbali ambazo zinaweza zikapatikana kwenye attachment like kama tunasema labda paracetamol. Kwa tunapoitamka ile paracetamol kama dawa tunajua ile ni para ambayo ni ni attached group ya hiyo compound ambayo inapatikana pale. Kwa hiyo ndio inakuwa pharmaceutical importance ya hizi structures na tusaidiaje sasa. Angalia kama hii labda unakuwa na halogen mbili ambao kama hii hapa inakuwa ni dibromo. Kwa hiyo mbili maana inakuwa ni dai ikiwa moja ni limono. Kama hii hapa amesema kwamba ni ortho dibromo benzini. Kwa maana kwamba hii ipo kwenye kwenye ortho positions. Lakini ukiangalia hii M ambao ni meta positions kwamba hii maana kwamba kaboni ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu. Kwa bromine ambazo zinakuwa ziko mbili. Kwa unasema bromine maana kwenye nomenclature ya hizi organic compound inapendea kuwa bromo. Kwa hapa maana yake nitasema kwenye meta position kuna tutaweka dibromo benzene. Kwa hapo ukiangalia hivyo hivi itakuwa ni dibromo benzene ambayo iko kwenye para positions. Kwa hiyo ndio inakuwa namna hivyo. So if two group are different and the names are given a common name, the two group are named successively and the name ended with benzene. Kama itakuwa na nili benzene yetu ambayo attached group tuna name zote kama benzini itakuwa ni parent chain kwa hiyo tunaishia kwa kusema benzini. Lakini nikaambiwa hivi, kama hiyo benzini itakuwa imejiattach kwenye group, asikiwa yenyewe kama substance, maana imejiattach, haiwezi tena kunem kama benzini, tunainem kama phenyl. Tukiangalia kama hii structure ambayo hapa tukiangalia hii structure ni ya carbon ziko nne, maana hii hapa ni butane. Asa kama ni butane tunanem kwamba nomenclature alikane tunaangalia kwamba ile substance tunaangalia kwamba ipo karibu na kaboni ya ngapi. Ukiangalia hapa kwenye kaboni ya kwanza ya pili. Kwa kwenye kaboni ya pili naipata hii hii benzini. Lakini kianzia huku kwa makaboni ya kwanza ya pili na ya tatu. Kwa naipatia kwenye kaboni ya tatu. Kwa sehemu ambayo attach group ipo karibu ndo naanzia kunema. Kwa hapa nitaanzia kwamba kaboni ya kwanza ya pili. Kama ya pili maana yake na nema kama ni tu maana tu na presentation kwamba ni carbon ya pili tu phenyl baada ya kusema tu phenyl na hesabu kwamba 1 2 3 4 zikiwa nne maana inakuwa ni butane that's why we name as two phenyl butane kwa hiyo ndio inakuwa concept yake na namna hivi structure yake zinaweza kawa kama hivi hapo kwamba kuna bromine ikawa moja kwa hiyo inasema bromo benzini hii hapa naweza nikanema kama benzene bromide kama inavyoonekana pale kwa hizo ni different nomenclature for this benzene structure. Tuangalie chemical properties za hizi aromatic organic compound. So properties za aromatic compound na include their major source ya petroleum and coal. Tusema kwamba hizi major source ya carbon tusema mwanzo kwa kwenye session ya kwanza kwamba major source ni petroleum and coal. Kwa hii hapa kwa so hii hydrocarbons na carbon vile vile major source itakuwa ni petroleum and coal vile kuna polyaromatic hydrocarbons are defined as aromatic compound with more than one 
benzene hapo naweza kukuambia what is what is polyaromatic hydrocarbons maana ukiona poli mara kwamba ni aromatic compound zipo nyingi that's why we say aromatic compound is more than one benzene kwa hizo tunapokuwa hizo tunaziita kama polyaromatic hydrocarbons kwa inakuwa ni hivyo so when is including in atmospheric pollutions then it is known as as carcinogenic in nature kwamba tunapozi expose kama pollutions kwenye atmosphere kwa hizo zinabariwa zinakuwa kama carcinogenic in nature carcinogenic ni zile compound ambazo zinasababisha cancer okay the compound that cause the cancer is called the carcinogenic so they go through electrophilic substitution reactions and nucleophilic aromatic substitutions at tunaangalia kwamba hii benzene structure ina undergo electrophilic substitution reactions maana pale tuna invoke kwamba ni substitution za hizo electrophile hydrocarbons which have multiple bonds are unsaturated in nature like alkene and alkynes asa tunapo tunaposema unsaturated tumepata terminology ya unsaturated tunaposema unsaturated ni nini unsaturated are those compounds that that allows the addition reactions means they have a lot of bonds that allow for addition reactions that is called unsaturated compound kwa mfano tukaangalia kuna alkene and alkynes alkene najua inakuwa na double bond lakini alkynes inakuwa na triple bond hasa kama ina allow addition ya ya atoms to the given bond tunasema that is compound is called unsaturated hydrocarbons due to the resonance and and give characteristics like electrophilic substitutions kwa hiyo inaandagoa electrophilic substitution to the presence of resonance so this aromatic hydrocarbons na kwa ni stable the compound ring act as nucleophiles kama tuliangalia kule mwanzo with the incoming electrophiles one of hydrogen atom of ring is substituted because this product is also hold stability and aromatic in nature kwa yenyewe kwamba kama electrophile utakapoadi kwenye ile benzene ring nategemea ile hydrogen moja na shift kwa allow attachment ya hiyo atom nyingine on the opposite side in addition reactions aromatic compound may lose their aromaticity kwa yenyewe inaweza ikaruse ile aromaticity ya kwamba umefanya addition reactions kama ya benzene unavyojua ni fake labda hydrogenations ikisema hydrogenation reactions maana kwamba zile bond ambazo zinaonekana kama za alkene zile bonds zitaondoka zinapoondoka maana zinaondoka through addition reactions na zitakapoondoka kwa hiyo benzene structure inabadilika kutoka kwenye benzene inakuwa cyclohexane kwa maana hiyo kwamba naposema cyclohexane nachukulia kama hii hii benzene structure hii hapa kama hii hapa hizi hazipo au hizi bond zote zitatu hazipo ikabaki hii for structure maana hiyo inabadilika kuwa cyclohexane. Kwa hiyo inakuwa namna hivyo. That is inapokuwa namna hiyo maana inakuwa inaruzi zile aromatisti ambazo zinakuwa zina involve pale. Thank you for listening me that is the end for this lecture.